A jubilant crowd witnessed the naming of the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy's Ellen H. Yankelo Grand Atrium on October 16th. The reception recognized Dr. Yankelo's gift of $1.1 million to the school, the largest gift ever from a female graduate. As chair of the School of Pharmacy's Board of Visitors, Ellen is intimately aware of the school's successes, our challenges, and our dreams for the future. She is a partner in celebrating those successes, overcoming those challenges, and making our dreams a reality. The gift, which was received as part of the school's capital campaign, will support a fellowship at the school designed to examine and promote the value of clinical pharmacy. With regard to the importance of the role of a pharmacist, I can tell you as a practicing physician who works closely in a clinic setting with faculty and students from this school, I always see the value pharmacists bring to the patient and to their colleagues in the other professions. Longtime friends and co-workers noted that this is just the latest page in Dr. Yankelo's long history of achievement and civic responsibility. Not only has she steered my career path, but she's also t taught me the true meaning of philanthropy. Ellen leads by example in her generous support of various nonprofit organizations and community charities. But more importantly, the obligation that we have to assist in sustaining the institution that gave us the skills to be successful, the Uni University of Maryland School of Pharmacy. It was an uphill battle, and it still is. However, the foundation box that Ellen built 10 years ago had become a strong base for, for us to continue to make her vision the standard of care. Yankelo accepted a handcrafted plate bearing words from John Wesley. As she told friends and colleagues, she hoped her gift would have a lasting impact. My hope is that this gift will not only be inspirational, but also transformational for the profession. The Ellen H. Yankelo Fellows will add unqualified, independent credibility to the value of clinical pharmacy. And hopefully, understand that if they choose to follow my path, part of their obligation will be to give back to their school and to the profession of pharmacy. Thank you again for sharing this evening with me, and I am truly grateful.